Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about following problems for Git and GitHub backup. First one is first is that on clone you lose attributes, security and timestamps of your file. Maximum that you can get not on the file folders, everything is push time like upload time which is not good you want to have all the files unique timestamps attributes and security preserved uh, when you get them back from cloud so solution is to before you push save all the data attributes security timestamps to file and, and restore it after after you clone it and the problem of GitHub, it's a very popular website, there are many competitors, but I prefer GitHub, is that you cannot upload, push files, like each file on free plan should be not more than 10 megabytes. What you can do, you can pack file, and additionally, but I have not implemented this yet, because I don't need that, is you can split file so for example let's say your file is 150 megabytes you pack it it becomes 99 it goes to github let's say it is 101 and you additionally split this file and you get 100 passes google hit i mean github you know this thing and, and you know and another split like split megabyte okay now let's have a look at my script i'm not a professional but this is working for me and i like this so here we create log file nearby the script file we set directory for unity project i'm using this for unity then we set path for times and attributes this is where we save it to file later on this is where we set git executable this is branch if it's your own repository i'm using this for myself so it's like a solo project one person owns repository so i will not have any problems with merge and uh, you know anything like that here we have a prompt like do you want to back up yes we have a few options this is like filter and a few options we can back up everything only folder which i believe it's not you know needed because why would you back up a single just folder like and content only this is just broken at this in this point of time i'm, I'm not using this so what do we do here we go to our parent of the of the project we remember all the information about every folder every file specifically about this uh first we go like single folder then we go every single file and we export all this data into file after we save so first like we don't distort any timestamps and securities uh, at this point of time first we remember them and then after we remembered everything we save it into the file into the root of our project after that we rename those files to have a time of backup you know the version of my this script and extension we get it back here we remember security if we just select everything we remember everything folders files all the security parameters like ownership like you know permissions and everything you know, you know the rest is less just folder you know it's i would call it obsolete and this is uh, ah 
this is uh, where where the second mode like no third mode gets broken so don't so don't use this option it's broken then it also gets a new name according to convention like uh, name time version uh, extension then here after all this process we search for files that are bigger than 100 megabytes which is limitation for file for upload for free plan on github and we compress each file and here we remove all the files that are bigger than 100 megabytes except our packet archives why i decided to do this it's just for situation when uh, you know for example you pack your all your 100 plus megabytes files but they're still bigger than 100 megabytes so you will get this message saying that hey you have this problem later on i want to split files additionally so this will not be needed anymore like you compress file and if it's you know still bigger than 100 megabytes it will like be split into pieces and this is where we check out our branch we add content of our you know target folder which is you know this project we do commit set here version time of commit and we first push it's in scenario when for example uh, your local is you know looks you know it, by by time it's older than the one uh, that is in the cloud like only by time so i use this option and this is where we restore this is like we, we can select either that option or this so we set here our parameters like user our repository so i use this for my own repository if you want to use someone else's you customize line 93 uh, of her character 61 right here um, and then we expand packet archives and delete them only after we expand it we delete them uh, then we uh, recover times and attributes right here Ah, now here mm, it's about our renamings no, no, no. it's about renamings uh, the recovery happens right here so first of all it asks us to stop using files that are about to get uh, you know uh, recovered times attributes and security it's just to prevent you know the confusion because some files may be locked and it will say like hey i cannot you know set this attribute because it's locked you know this file is locked after that it removes this backup and it restores security and it re removes a security backup file yeah that's maybe all i wanted to to show in this video at the moment you can see that it complains a lot it's because you see this dot git uh, so how it happens why it complains mm. I'll try to draw this so when you clone your project you get your project and here is git uh, service files and 
data of your project always the same it remains the same only you get changed attributes security and timestamps and when I do backup it remembers uh, also it remembers this git service file so when it's got deleted and new one place it it can see that data is the same but git is different and it cannot understand hey i cannot set this you know i, I cannot find a path file is gone so just ignore this yeah all right thanks for watching this video have a good time and bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye bye